Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdoms. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a great day. I am backlogging a little bit. I only got a couple more days uh, away from being able to fully focus on YouTube, dealing with some military stuff, as I've talked about a couple times. Uh, but I wanted to start off today in our makeshift hall of patrons. I've decided that this is going to be our makeshift hall of patrons. I do plan on building a proper one at some point during season two, uh, but this will tide us over for now and we do have some new people to add. So Alpha Sword Jr., Stormy, Twisted Foot, Tallulah Jaduke, Swordsman Joe, Michael Garantino, Garantino, and Andrew Mavridakis. I, I'm sure I absolutely butchered the pronunciation of some of those names, but Thank you guys for the support. I uh, It means a lot, and it really does help. Um, what I want to do in today's episode is I want to redo the docks. Uh, you may remember a couple episodes ago, we built some docks over here, and I decided that I didn't like them, and I just completely tore them out. And I want to build docks over here that don't look like trash. <laughs> so that's the plan. Uh, for today's episode. I want to kind of get started on that and I was I've been doing some research looking into a few different things uh, looking at um, kind of medieval fishing villages and stuff like that looking at pictures and images to get some ideas and some inspiration and One thing that I noticed was very very common is they almost all have a retaining wall of some sort So I think we're gonna try and kind of emulate that so, let's maybe start, like, here-ish, and this is going to be kind of the dock area. Now, I'm, I'm, well, hmm, and again, this is going to really mess up the hill. I'm going to have to really do some wacky things with the hill. Maybe I don't want to start it out that far. Maybe we want to start it out, uh, maybe we want to actually expand the hillside instead. So maybe we'd start like right about here, right? And kind of go out like so. And I think we'll make it like three high. That should be perfectly fine. And we'll go out to maybe about there. It doesn't need to be super, super big. In fact, it probably shouldn't be super, super big. Um, but let's just kind of build this to like Maybe about there. So like this will be kind of our dock area. And then we can kind of bring it back again over here, right? So we'll have kind of a retaining wall that'll come out um, like so. And then over here, I think, we'll bring this over until it runs into the hillside again. So this will be kind of the dock area over here, and then there'll be different, like, ways to get up and down it, right? So let's start by filling in this retaining wall at least... Ooh, well, that's fine. It still need, uh, I still needed to put something there. At least until we get to, like, one underneath the water, say... I think that's that's probably where we want to be. So let's just kind of bring that over. Anything that kind of comes out beyond that, we'll just kind of do away with. Uh, we do want to clear out any of this stuff. Because this is all going to be retaining wall as well. There we go. And I did thankfully bring a water bucket so we can fill this stuff in. And then we'll kind of bring that over to about here. There we go. And then lastly, like so. And this will ultimately go all the way down, but I'm a bit low on cobble right now, so I don't want to kind of force that. Um, not right this second, anyway. Well, we'll get there eventually. Uh, let's just fill that in as well. There we go. And then we'll go and fill in this little bit here. So we'll have essentially this, this nice little retaining wall uh, and the dock will be essentially built off of this is the plan. 
There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So there's that part of it. And then lastly, we just got to do this part right here. There we go. Okay. So, retaining wall is built, and yes, it's this big cobblestone structure, and it looks terrible. I know. Don't worry. Well, it'll it'll look better. Just <laughs> just give it some time. Uh, well, well, you got to start somewhere, right? We gotta we gotta start with a base, and then once we have the base, uh, from there we can move into better things. Is the plan? Okay. So something along these lines should be fine. We may even want to bring this back. Maybe I want to change that uh, yeah we'll worry about that later that's fine uh not yet uh, we don't want to mess with that just yet okay so we've got our cobblestone uh wall built now we will also uh also want to go back and probably add some texture variation i'm thinking probably some andesite is what we'll ultimately use for that just a, a nice andesite cobble mix uh but first we need to start building actual platforms and stuff so let's go like this just kind of fill those in and we probably want some oak stairs although we don't need too many of them let's maybe take another half a stack or so and then let's just grab some oak wood oh that reminds me i almost totally forgot so i made like a little makeshift oak tree farm over here uh, and it actually looks like it's about to be nighttime, so we should probably sleep. But I made, like, a little makeshift tree farm over there for oak wood. Uh, because I've pretty much chopped down, like, all the oak that's anywhere near my base. Uh, and I have to travel quite a distance to actually find oak wood. So I decided to make just a, a little makeshift tree farm. Nothing fancy, um, but it basically it's a box. I think it's, like... 8 by 10 on the inside or something like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, 8 by... I, I'm pretty sure it's 10. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. Yep. 8 by 10. And basically, you just plant the saplings in here. They will all grow into essentially one giant block of oak wood. And then it's good to go. So, let's just plant all of that so these can get growing and then this is uh six off the ground so uh i think maybe seven seven off the ground so it's basically just to keep any of the the big oak trees from growing because they're kind of a pain to chop down you do get a little bit more oak wood from them but uh the added time that you have to spend to actually chop down the big oak trees is not worth it in my opinion it, it when you're trying to just gather large amounts of wood so we'll plant those over there and let those kind of grow and do their thing. Okay, so now we need to make a few platforms. And what I'm thinking is we'll probably want like a couple spots that kind of come down. So maybe like here, there'll be like a little stairway, right? And what we can do is make like a little platform right here. And this is just going to come and kind of wrap all the way around the edge of the retaining wall. Like so. Do, 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 do. And we'll bring it, uh, I mean, we probably do. Yeah, all right, fine, we'll tear it up. It's gonna bother me if it doesn't, if I don't. But we'll make this like maybe two or three, two or three wide is what I'm thinking. And this is basically just going to be like a little walkway. It'll go all the way around and then we're going to have steps that will lead down to the actual dock area, right? So we'll kind of bring this over to like here. And maybe we want to even go a step further with that and make it three. Yeah, I think we do. Or at least three on the central part. Like so. So we've got kind of this, this like elevated 
position here, right? And as I said, this will go down eventually, but I'm just, uh, I, I don't want to spend the cobble yet until I know that I have enough cobble, okay? Uh, and we'll want to, you know, kind of do some things to detail out the wall as well and make it look a bit better. Okay, so there's that. Now, um, I'm thinking from here, we want to make platforms that are a bit lower. Uh, and we also want to figure out where the docks themselves are going to go. So let's kind of bring a couple of these guys down. And I do still want the actual docks themselves to be like one off the, you know, uh, just basically a half block above the water. So like so, right? And we'll just kind of bring this out a ways. Maybe like three maybe even we'll end up going like two but for now let's just kind of bring these out a little bit okay and then the plan is we'll make some platforms as i said Ooh, hey come back you there we go so let's grab a couple stairs and we'll do something like this right and then that We'll go to, un oh, actually, yeah, 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 that is where I want it. Okay, so we'll go, like, here. It's so hard to work in the water. We'll go like this, okay? And then that will lead down to another platform. Get out of the water. Like, right here, okay? And we'll have these kind of, like, Slight. Can I please get on top of the thing? Thank you. We'll have these kind of slightly more elevated platforms here, which will then uh, essentially channel down. So, like, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. This is, I'm not making any sense when I say it, but it'll make sense when you see it. Let's grab our resources that we're leaving behind. There we go. Put you here. We can get rid of these extra blocks now because we don't need them anymore. There we go. And we'll, uh, up, please. Please, thank you. Okay, there we go. So we'll kind of go something like this. And then we'll go maybe... Uh, we probably want like a five block gap in between. So we can put this back. We'll bring that bit over. And then one, two, three, four, five. This would be the next dock right here. Right? It up. Thank you. So we'll go like so. Two, three. And the idea here is that we're we're creating like multiple levels that this is that these these docks are going to sit on. And I think that actually creates kind of a cool effect. And this will this will give us a couple of docks. Um, I do want these to come out a bit farther than they are right now. So let's maybe go out to like year or so and we can tweak and modify these later as needed that's fine that won't be a big deal but let's just kind of go boop, 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 boop. okay lovely and if we bring I'm trying to think we're gonna change this again We're going to bring this out to here, like so, and then we'll go one, two, three, four, or maybe, you know what, let's change this up even more. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll end up having this be four wide so one two three four so these two rows are gonna go away 
And that means we'll be able to get our logs in place in such a way where there's basically logs and then a two block gap. And I think that's going to be the best look, you know, as far as how to make the docks still look at least semi-decent. So we'll have these two docks that kind of stick out here. Now, yes, I know this still looks very strange, but this will give us plenty of space in between for a boat. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, I don't want an even number. I really want this to be an odd number. Hmm. Hmm. That's kind of a hard thing. <laughs> okay, well, tell you what. Let's start here. Because I do know that I want to build up some logs like so, right? And we're going to have these logs that'll kind of come up and separate different chunks of this whole thing. Right? So this will kind of come up here. Maybe... Um... We probably want another one. I mean, it's a matter of trying to get them to be evenly spaced. And that's, in, in many ways, easier said than done. Or at least mostly evenly spaced. What we'll probably do is scoot this uh, stairway over a little bit. So let's leave like a three block gap. Come on. Get up there. Come on. You can... It's so... So annoying to work in the water sometimes. There we go. So we'll, we'll put like a, a, a gap there. And then we'll build... Logs up here. Until we get to that point. Leave a three block gap. Logs... One, two, three. And that would be a log as well. And then this right here would be the last log, I think. Right? So then we just need to bring these up until we get to the, the point where we want them. And that'll also help as far as making the retaining wall not look super boring and dull. Let's take another nap. Do, do, do. There we go. So we'll get some retaining walls. Uh, we'll get this retaining wall properly built. Okay. Now, given that we have a three block gap here. Well, actually, this could, this is fine. Because then it's a two block gap and a two block gap. And I'm okay with that. Like, that totally works. Um, so then we'd probably want these to kind of come up as well. Also, I just noticed that there's actually a bunch of resources, and since I'm so low on oak wood, I probably want to grab those because they're kind of valuable. Okay, I'll try this again. So, one, two, here, right? That would be our... Yes. Hmm, pick up. And then we'll bring this up to here. So the idea, and we'll maybe go like another three. Ooh. One, two, three here. So this would be one. It's, uh, I, I hate to, bring these logs all the way down because we're going to go with we're going to end up using like so much oak wood for very little actual benefit um there we go so why don't we just go down like one into the water oh 
please get on the slab. There we go. Okay, you can do it. Stupid thing. Oh, and I, I gotta do this one as well. So we'll just bring them down into the water, just like one for the moment. Okay, and then that'll come up. We'll take this around one more. Like so. Until we get to here. And then again, we'll just go every one, two, three here. One, two, three there. One, two, three there. And then we can bring these guys down like so. Okay. So there we go. There's kind of this whole thing. And then it, it essentially surrounds and wraps the, uh, the dock, which I think looks pretty good. Now, we still need to kind of fix little parts of this up. But the idea is we're trying to get uh, docks on multiple levels. That's our big goal here. Okay. Uh, and also, in that same vein... We want to tear out a couple of these. We probably want to bring this one out one more. And then... Um, we'll go boop, boop. Bring those into the water. And then we can get rid of the ones on top, right? So we can go here this one is actually going to end up going up a little bit higher I think oh come on thank you but I think this is going to ultimately look a lot better than what we had before I think This is a, uh, I do definitely want an odd number here, though. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I suppose what we could do is bring the retaining wall back one or bring it out one. And I'm kind of leaning towards bringing it out one more. And that would give us the extra space that we need. I think that's probably our better option. And then the other thing we need to consider is up here. I think what we want to do is put down more slabs like this, right? Along these edges that kind of overlap. And then we can put a fence, probably spruce fences is what I'm thinking, connecting this stuff. And I think that'll actually look pretty good so we'll go like so let me try that real quick and then what will happen is we'll end up bringing this hill over so let me do a little bit of work here guys and i'll be back with you in just a second okay guys i am back and i think the docks are done um i think they're good i i decided to make this basically just flat grass since it's a retaining wall and that actually gives us some space here where we can build some things if we want if we want to make like a little I don't know, maybe a cart to ha help haul the goods or I, I don't know. We'll figure out something to put in these spots here and here. Um, but the docks themselves, I really like these. I like these so much better than the last docks. Obviously, we do still need to bring like these logs down and all that kind of stuff. But we'll get there. We'll get there. That's fine. I just don't really I don't want to spend the oak on it right now <laughs> because I don't have a ton of oak. Um, and I don't think it's that important. Um, but I think these docks look infinitely better than the previous docks. I like them a lot. I think they're lovely. Uh, I added some uh, spruce fences along these kind of borders here, as well as some spruce fences here and here and over here as well. Uh, the plan is eventually, we're not going to get to it in this episode, uh, but eventually I want to have a boat here and here docked. Uh, little fishing boats is what I'm kind of planning. Not like a big, huge ship, not like a, you know, a sailing ship or anything like that. Just small kind of sailing fishing boats is what I'm thinking. 
uh, relatively small, relatively um, simple. I mean, they're, they're going to have to be relatively fall, small to fit in a space that's, what, seven wide? Yeah, seven wide. So that means the whole boat basically has to be like five wide. Um, and that's pretty small. But all in all, I think these are a huge improvement from the docks that we had before. Like, like infinitely better. <laughs> the docks that we... And I also need to turn that into a cobblestone, uh, but that's okay. I think these are way better. I think it's a, a definite improvement, and I'm much happier with these. I think these are far more uh, along the lines of what we want in this kingdom. So, I think it is time to jump into the comment of the day, and today's comment says, This is the problem with your style. You've started this whole new area to keep your creativity flowing, yet you keep on making the same design you have had for like two years. I mean, using the same furnace design four times seems a bit uncreative. For all of you, I love kingdoms. This is just towards Wells, also not hating, just saying. And that's from Mr. Soldier. Uh, and a reminder, last episode, we built the super smelter, and it is, honestly, almost the same design that I have built in Hermitcraft and last season of Kingdoms and did a 15 minute build on. So I've built this thing plenty of times and I do it because it works. Um, and to address this, and first of all, uh, no, no hate, that's constructive criticism. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, so to kind of address that, I think when it comes to technical builds, I'm less concerned with uh, rebuilding something like, if I if I if it's a technical design that I came up with myself, honestly, I'm just happy that it works. <laughs> because as many of you know, I'm really not the most technical player. I don't uh, I I'm not uh, a proficient redstoner or uh, you know a lot of these things. I I, I don't come up with them myself. Um, some of them I do, like this redstone furnace I did, the, the, a couple of the sugarcane farms I've made, I've designed myself. You know, things that are built on very simple mechanics, sure, I'll come up with a design on my own. Um, but if it works, it works, and I'm really kind of not very concerned with it when it comes to technical builds. Because, keep this in mind, like, when we're talking about this furnace, for example, right? Like, I've built the, the, the technical bits of this furnace, the super smelter, several times. But the aesthetics of it are different. The way it looks on the outside are different. And now that it's built, we're never going to look at the guts of it again, right? We're, we're never going to go in there and tear it up. We're, we're only going to see what's on the outside. So when it comes to technical builds, I'm a lot less concerned about rebuilding things that I've already built before. Whereas when it comes to more aesthetic builds, like the houses, these docks, for example, stuff like that... Um, I, I I am far more concerned with doing something new, doing something I haven't before. And I also want to just say, keep in mind, we're really early in season two. I'm really limited right now in my resources and stuff like that. Uh, and once we kind of get farther into season two and we have more resources and more infrastructure and all this other kind of stuff, we will absolutely be doing new things. There will be new kingdoms and... Uh, new build styles that we haven't tackled yet. I, kinda, I really want to tackle an elven kingdom this season. I'd like to tackle a desert kingdom this season. And I think I'd probably like to uh, tackle like an Asian kingdom this season. I think those could all be very fun. Uh, but right now, we just don't have the resources for it. We just don't have what we need uh, as far as getting those resources. Like, we don't have a beacon. <laughs> we don't have... Um, I don't think we've even found all the different types of wood yet. Like, we're still pretty early in this season, so kind of bear that in mind. And as we build up infrastructure and stuff, we'll be able to branch out and do more newer things. I mean, there is there is a reason that almost all Minecraft Let's Plays start off very similarly. Because <laughs> you have to, you know, it's a, it's a progression thing. You got to start at one point and advance and kind of unlock new resources and all this other kind of stuff. That thing is so loud. Um, and other and other things before you can build with them, right? Like, I, I just don't have the infrastructure right now to really support doing a ton of things that are completely different from anything I've ever done before. But I'm trying to kind of do something a little bit different with this fishing village. A lot of the build style itself is similar to stuff that we've done. Uh, but I don't think we've ever built a fishing village before. Not like a full-on village. We've built a little fishing huts occasionally over the years, and we've built docks and stuff before, but I don't think we've ever actually made like a proper fishing village ever. Uh, so that's the plan for this kingdom. And once this kingdom is done, 
uh, you know, we'll be spreading out into other newer things. Desert Kingdoms. I did actually find a desert between episodes and made another portal that leads to it. So we do have a desert that's relatively close by. Uh, it's basically just across the ocean that way, I think. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that way. Just past the jungle. Um, but yeah, all sorts of good stuff coming on. And I appreciate the constructive criticism. There's nothing wrong with constructive feedback whatsoever. And I always appreciate getting it. But unfortunately, guys, I am out of time for this episode. I'm very happy with these docs. I think these are a huge improvement on what we had before. And now we can add some details to them like... Uh, cargo and uh, fishing boats and all this other kind of stuff. So there we go. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Links in the description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.